Hey, Azure Stack fans, I'm Mike Lamia, technical marketing engineer supporting the Azure Stack portfolio with Dell Technologies. And joining me here today for a little hybrid cloud story time is Mr. Matt McSpirit. Hey, Matt. Thanks, Michael. Hi, folks. Matt McSpirit here, engineering technologist focused on the Microsoft Azure Stack and hybrid portfolio here at Dell Technologies. Now, I think we can all agree that applications are the lifeblood of the modern enterprise. Would you also agree that application agility is currently a challenge for organizations embracing a multi-cloud operating model? I mean, just look at these results from this recent ESG survey. A staggering 89% of respondents agreed that the public cloud is their dev test location, but as workloads are pushed to production and scaled, they tend to migrate containers to on-prem infrastructure. Now, Matt and I got chatting and agreed that we should unpack this a bit uh, using a case study or story. Okay, so this is the tale of a struggling organization that was reinvigorated by implementing an agile hybrid cloud ecosystem delivered by Microsoft and Dell Technologies. Matt and I will be using a fictitious retail company named Wygobuy in this case study, but their challenges are shared by customers we speak with across all industries. Wygobuy used to be a household name. Their brick and mortar stores proliferated across many rural communities and a few major metropolitan areas throughout the Midwestern US. Then they increased market share by pioneering a new in-house developed e-commerce portal called MyBuy to expand their reach to consumers globally. Unfortunately, YGoBuy failed to prioritize technological innovation. MyBuy and its supporting IT infrastructure rapidly accumulated technical debt and couldn't easily adapt to changing customer buying preferences. The competition lured many loyal customers away using more immersive, personalized online experiences, causing a string of quarters with languishing financial results. IT endured much of the blame for the deteriorating performance, and many wondered if Wygobuy could survive, let alone thrive again. Hope was renewed when a new CIO was hired who had a reputation for rescuing embattled IT organizations. He assembled a DevOps team to holistically triage the challenges and to determine the best path forward. After much spirited debate, the team determined that MyBuy needed to be rebuilt from the ground up to create an entirely fresh, customized experience for their customers. But this decision was risky. The most glaring concerns being the business imposed a wildly aggressive target date to go live. And many of the capabilities that would be needed for a successful rebuild didn't exist in the current decaying environment. Ultimately, the CIO enacted a cloud-first imperative. The public cloud could provide the breadth of services and the flexibility needed to transform MyBuy into a totally unique and differentiated shopping experience. Now, Microsoft Azure had all the specific services the DevOps team required to start the rebuild efforts immediately. And of particular importance were the Azure Kubernetes Service, or AKS, Azure App Service, and Azure SQL, which all became part of the new microservices-based application architecture. And finally, Azure DevOps was chosen for continuous integration and delivery. Now, the test and dev efforts for rebuilding MyBuy in Azure proved very successful, but they needed to run in production on-premises for legacy application proximity and regulatory compliance. 
So this presented two new challenges. The first surrounding the portability and consistency of the MyBuy code base, and the second being how to quickly modernize their aging and inflexible infrastructure for both cloud native and traditional workloads. Now the solution was to deploy a tightly integrated hardware and software stack that had the ability to seamlessly run the Azure platform services underpinning MyBuy on-premises. Thankfully, the entire stack from top to bottom came with comprehensive enterprise-class support from Microsoft and Dell. And this was a modular architecture. So let's unpack this a bit. The DevOps team's first task was to replace their three-tier architecture with a hyper-converged infrastructure. The Dell integrated system for Microsoft Azure Stack HCI was an all-in-one engineering validated solution designed with full stack lifecycle management built in. Our company selected a cluster configuration that would maximize the performance and availability of MyBuy and existing legacy enterprise applications. AX nodes from Dell leveraged the industry-leading PowerEdge server platforms, but they're deliberately populated with components and BIOS, firmware and driver revisions to optimize the Azure Stack HCI experience. And finally, the Azure Stack HCI operating system also came factory pre-installed for rapid deployment. Now, after migrating over many existing VMs, they used Microsoft Windows Admin Center to deploy the cloud-native platform, AKS, the Azure Kubernetes service, on Azure Stack HCI which provided the Azure consistent microservices based development experience that they used in dev test. So the developers could then begin pulling their dev test MyBuy images and Helm charts from the Azure container registry and GitHub to the local Kubernetes target cluster. And there was just one more step to get the developers fully self-sufficient, which was to quickly and easily deploy Azure Arc enabled data and app services onto AKS on Azure Stack HCI. The developers didn't have to concern themselves with any of the details of the infrastructure. They can just concentrate on redirecting the code created for dev test to their new on-premises ecosystem. And they didn't even have to change their tooling. They just continued using their preferred IDE, Visual Studio, for deploying to both environments. Okay, so here's how it all came together. The DevOps team ensured that they always kept dev test and production in lockstep by declaring GitHub as the single source of truth. The GitHub repository hosted desired state configuration manifest files for the infrastructure and the application code. Then Azure DevOps pipelines were used to perform continuous integration and delivery to the appropriate targets in Azure and on-premises. Azure Monitor, Application Insights, and other services were employed to collect telemetry data and provide timely feedback to the DevOps team about their deployments. The Azure portal provided a consolidated view of the MyBuy environments and traditional workloads running in Azure and Azure Stack HCI. But our friends at WhyGoBuy couldn't celebrate until they answered one more question. What about lifecycle management, monitoring and governance in this new hybrid cloud operating model they'd created? Well, it turns out that all the tools they needed were already integrated into the architecture. Increased operational efficiency turned out to be a most welcomed fringe benefit of the solution. First, there was Windows Admin Center, which was already familiar to them. The Dell Open Manage integration with Windows Admin Center was invaluable because of lifecycle management features like automated cluster creation and expansion and full stack cluster aware updating. They also used it to right size their clusters based on workload profiles and to protect, defend, and recover from cyber attacks using Microsoft's secured core server and Dell's infrastructure lock. The other indispensable tool they leveraged was their old friend Azure Arc. Turns out Azure Arc could assist the ops side of the house as much as the dev side. The DevOps team projected their Dell integrated systems, VMs, 
and AKS on Azure Stack HCI clusters into Azure using Arc-enabled servers and Arc-enabled Kubernetes. Then they were able to monitor, manage, and govern the on-premises infrastructure at scale. They used services like Azure Monitor, which was already providing continuous feedback on my buy deployments to the team. In addition to lifecycle management and monitoring, Dell and Microsoft also had governance covered. Dell packaged up all their validated configuration settings into a single Dell HCI configuration profile policy definition. Plus, they provided a consistent hybrid management experience. So, why go by could leverage the control plane that best suited their environments. For compliance monitoring at scale, they used the Azure portal since they eventually needed to manage fleets of integrated systems spanning multiple data center and edge locations. They also used Windows Admin Center for that in-depth cluster-by-cluster cluster view that also included the ability to remediate non-compliant configuration settings. Now, as a result of all of this, the DevOps team became heroes, and there was much celebration, led, of course, by the CIO. They wielded a tightly integrated portfolio of solutions from Microsoft and Dell Technologies to revive MyBuy and rescue their beloved organization from imminent doom. Why go by managed to regain much of their lost market share, dramatically improved their brand's reputation, and got those financial results going back in the right direction. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is all high level information. Give me the details. Well, consider this whole session as just a trailer, and we intend to unpack this saga in much more detail in future videos. So, in conclusion, I hope it's become obvious that Dell Technologies is the perfect partner for delivering a seamless Microsoft Azure experience. We simplify the running of Azure services on-premises with software-driven automation as part of an integrated system. And because our platform is DevOps ready, we help increase application development agility and accelerate innovation. So if you wanna go ahead and learn more, visit our main product page and info hub, or reach out to your Dell or Microsoft account teams.